Good afternoon. In this video, we're going to go through how to set up a weld procedure and then how to modify the schedule that goes with that weld procedure. We can access the weld procedures in the data button. So let's go to data. And if you do not see the weld procedures here, just go to type and then switch it to weld procedures. So if you're in, say, registers, you can easily just go type weld procedures and then here's the procedure now depending on the robot it may already have a few procedures set up because this is a computer program and this is a default template uh, it has one procedure set up so if i hit the plus next to that or if i go to detail it'll open up and this will say manufacturer general purpose so if you actually have a lincoln welder robot or a miller robot or any other brand you will see an actual say lincoln robot then the model the file name and then what type of schedules they go with they also give you a little bit of information like run in burn back uh, wire stick reset, ramping, enable and disable these as you go through. And if you go down, here's going to be your gas information, your arc setups, and then your actual schedule. So I'm going to just detail here next to schedules. So here's the schedule set up for the actual procedure number one. So there's usually a starting point of three schedules. The first schedule is going to be your run-in. The second schedule will be maybe a modification on that. And then the third schedule is going to be how the welder ends. So there's four points to this schedule. There's voltage, inches per minute, speed, and then time. So voltage is what the volts are set up at at the actual machine so the robot will actually set uh, information to the welder and the welder will change its voltage based on that inches per minute is how fast or the travel speed of the actual robot itself as it wire welds the speed is how fast the wires coming out weld and then the time is going to be how long does it sit there until it stops welding. So we usually use the time when we're at a end of the weld where we're going to just build up that fillet just a hair bit. So if you want to collapse these, just go under view, collapse, and it collapse all our weld procedures. So we were in the procedures and also the schedules. So notice how it says procedure one, and if I go inside here and hit the double click on there or hit enter on it you'll see when we were working with the other programs or when we were writing the other programs we use procedure number one schedule number one so it was running at 20 volts 200 inches per minute speed of 20 and then no dwell time at the end now we can modify this if we want to or we can create our own so we're going to go to cmnd and we're going to create a new weld procedure and we're going to call this weld procedure number two would you like to create yes it goes through and this pops up so we're going to go through the setup guide so we're going to hit yes and right here is the thickness of the wire that we're going to utilize so if you're using a different type of wire or if you're using a different thickness you can measure it and then convert it to millimeters or you could swap it over to inches if you wish to uh, what type of gas so if you click inside here we could pick between argon and co2 so say we want argon gas then what type of welds are going to be doing with this procedure so there's lap weld there's fillet and then there's butt weld so if you look at this we're going to create a weld procedure for our shape right here we're going to go to our fillet and then what is the thickness of the material so the thickness for our material was five millimeters okay so it's pretty thick material then right here if we want to have a pulse we can turn it on so if you just click it it'll enable the pulse or we can disable that pulse it has disabled and then we're going to hit finish so now we have our well procedure number two is all good now we're going to set and now we have well procedure number two if i detail that'll give us the detail on the information and all the setups that we just did so i go view collapse let's go into the schedules so now we have a couple different schedules we have schedule one which is 20.1 volts 237.9 inches per minute speed of 23.6 and no dwell time so again this is a starting point so anybody who's welded knows that there's variations in the weld to have a starting point where you could do a couple practice welds on a blank of metal and then you can really dial in the volts inches per minute and the speed of the wire as well so as of right now we don't know what the speed is because this 
doesn't actually weld the material it's just a simulation of that so until you actually do it in real life you don't know what the actual numbers are going to be so you have to do a couple practice welds to get exact dialed in to the volts inches per minute speed and time you want so i'm going to go in here and i'm going to actually name my procedure here keyboard and i'm going to call this five millimeter There we go. So now I have my procedure named. So procedure number two, I know that this is set up for five millimeters of steel. Um, we're going to go with this and I'm going to change schedule three for to be my ending speed so that when I end my weld, it's going to sit there just a hair bit and finish that fillet of molten material. So let's set up schedule two to be our end point. So for the voltage, I generally like to drop it two volts, go 18.1 for our voltage, enter. So now it's set up. And then I'm going to go to where the inches per minute and the inches per minute, I usually like to drop it about 25 inches per minute at the end. So we're going to go 212, it should be good. I'm going to just keep it that. Oops, I forgot to hit enter on that. So I'm going to go 212, enter. And then the speed, we're going to keep the same. And then the time, we're going to keep it at that placement for about a third of a second. Seems to be pretty good. Again, depending on your experience, this changes from place to place. And you can set this up to however you want or however your shop wants. So I use Schedule 1 for the run. So this is kind of the default. Schedule 2 is going to be the end. Schedule 3 is if you want to make any modifications off that to see if you get a better weld so that you always have the original Schedule 3, you can modify this so that if you need to go up in voltage, down in voltage, faster or slower. Then again, you can always check or redo the original because you have it right here. And you can always add schedules onto this as well. So let's start programming this part. So we have a bunch of arcs here. And it gives us the X and Y coordinate and then the angle in which your tip should be to that actual arc. All right, so in the previous video we set up a blank welding template so we're going to go select we're going to copy this and we call this welder and this is going to be an automotive part so we call weld path auto one choose it no spaces copy yes so, and then we're going to go into our actual program and now we have our uframe set up here is our variables if we need to set up any variables we have our home position already set up so let's go to our start position so we're going to go move our robot to 50 negative 355 so we go position x y and z and my x component is 50 my y component is negative 355 and then my z offset is negative 324 millimeter and we're at position now we need to rotate along the R axis. So I go to the R and I go negative 116.29. Now we have it in the correct direction. Now we have to set up whether we are going to drag or push our robot, and that's going to be in the W direction. So I like to go about 20, between 15 degrees and 25 degrees. I like 20 uh, personally. So there we're going to be pushing our weld. So if we go 20 pushing if we go negative 20 we're going to be dragging the weld again drag will give you the best penetration for that weld we're going to come down linearly to this point so we're going to add move point linear 100 percent fine and then i'm going to rotate this around so now we have our point i'm going to go up to my weld safe position and then i'm going to click my end of tool make sure we under tool not joint right now so we go coordinate switch it to tool and we're going to back it off. I like to back it off between 50 and 100. So it looks like this one I'm going to go probably around 50 is good. Okay, just as long as we are out of the way of everything, which we are in this case. So now that I have my safe position, we're going to come from our home position down to our safe position using the joint method. So we go add move point, joint 100% fine to that point. It's going linear down to our position. So only just go on step mode here and then shift forward there we go and then turn off shift turn off step now what we're going to do is going to start the weld so I go down one here and we're going to go new instruction arc weld start 
And the first thing we put in is our procedure. So we're going to use procedure number two. And then our schedule, we're going to weld along schedule number one. The procedure number two, schedule number one. And I accidentally made this a joint movement. So I'm actually going to switch this to a linear movement. So I go linear and notice how it automatically switches to millimeters per second. So I only go 250 millimeters per second to get down to this position. So we have our weld start. Then what we do is we add one line here. There we go. So I have some space between the weld start and weld end. Okay, so I'm going to now continue along this path. So actually we're going to have a, quite a few different points in here. So I'm going to add a few more points actually than just one. So I'm going to start with maybe 10. And then if I need to, I'll add more later on. So for the sake of this video, what we're going to do is we're going to weld along this path right here to the end here. And we're going to say that this is going to be the end of the weld so we can talk about the end procedure on our weld. So I'm going to just bring it to the next point. There we go. And then I'm going to add move point linear. And we're going to have it be a circular path. There's my circular path. So now we have that point. Now we need to go to our next point which is 200, negative 225. All right, so we're at the next point at 24.35. I did have to back off my 20% to about 18 here just because it did not, it could not get into that position at that specific angle. So I had to back this off a little bit so you'll see what happens if I go to even 19. It gives a red little dot saying that it cannot go to that position. So I'm going to switch this back to 18. Now we got that green, so we're good. So now I can save this position or touch up the position. So shift, touch up. Now we have our position. And now we're going to weld end right here. So we're going to add new instruction, arc, weld end. We're going to use procedure two. And then our end weld schedule number two. We get rid of these lines. And then we're going to have our weld end save position. So I click my end and make sure I'm in tool mode and then I'm going to bring it back my 50 millimeters to make sure it's out of the way of everything which it is and then we're going to save this as our safe position at move point linear and we'll go at 250 millimeters per second to that fine point and then we're going to go to our home position if we want to, or we can go right to our safe position. So I'm going to go to my home position. So we're going to go add move point, joint 100% find. We're going to use a position register of number one, which is we set up in previous activities. And now let's try it out. So I'll hold shift, go all the way up to the top, enter on that, turn off the teach pendant, run cycle, home position down, really fast. There we go. Back up, home position, and then safe position. So there we go. So now we have that weld along that path. It dwelled at the end a little bit. So you can see there's a little bit larger pool at the end because it dwelled at that point, which means it stayed at that point for 0.3 of a second, okay, all the way over to the end. And that's how we do a weld procedure.